Hi, this is Dr. Emmanuel Daniel, Faculty of Social Work from Kumaraguru College of Liberal Arts and Science, Kaibadu. Today, we're going to talk about SA8000. SA8000 is one of the social auditing certifications, and SA stands for Social Accountability. So this is the synopsis of my presentation. I'll be talking about SA8000, the SA8000 standard, some statistics related to the certification, elements of the standard, benefits of SA8000, and some brands which are associated with this particular certification. Talking about SA8000, is this certification is one of the world's leading social certifications because of its holistic framework. There are n number of social certifications, but however, this certification stands out for various reasons. Some certifications focus only on environment, some on labor welfare, some on human rights, and so on and so forth. But this certification covers almost everything, especially the social aspects of an organization. So that's the reason why this, is, this gives us a holistic framework. This certification was initiated or maybe created by this organization called SAI that is Social Accountability International in the year 1997. And another interesting aspect about this certification is, this certification is available or can be used for organizations or corporates or industries of any size. So talking about SA8000 standard, it's an internationally recognized standard. Any country will have its own legislation rules or regulations to follow, but this goes beyond rules, beyond legislations. So that is why this has got that internationally recognized the standard. So the main aspect of this particular, or maybe the main focus of this certification is the social performance of the corporate. So they assess social performance in various aspects. And this certification always has a continual improvement because they keep revising their policies and uh, you know revising their uh, uh, indicators and elements so that the organization which are associated with this certification are also expected to improve. The next one, as said earlier, they are always abide with the national laws and they ensure that they don't deviate from the national laws. So some statistics, interesting statistics about this certification is, this certification uh, protects almost 20,92,945 workers across 4,483 certified organizations in 57 industries across 61 countries. Talking about the elements of the standard, this is the crux of the certification. Without uh, having these nine dimensions fulfilled, this or uh, any organization cannot, uh, um, you know, be certified by this organization. First one is child labor. So this certification is very much against child labor, and uh, anybody who are employing children or uh, people below a particular age will not be certified by this uh, organization. The next one is forced labor. Another word for forced labor, maybe I can put it this way, bonded laborers or maybe slaves. Today, uh, you know, you cannot have bonded laborers or forced laborers in your industry. Just because you wanted to have a higher productivity doesn't mean that you can ruin another person's life. So no forced labor. The next one is health and safety. Uh, having fire extinguishers doesn't mean that you ensure health and safety. You need to train them. You need to also, you know, train them in various safety aspects. So here, uh, maybe uh, how to handle emergency and how to go about the evacuation process. All these things should be trained. This should not just stop by being or placing it on the walls. You should train them, take time to train them, teach them. And all the employees in the industry should be aware of the health and safety aspects. The next one is collective bargaining. To understand collective bargaining, we will split this into two. Collective means coming as a group or maybe a group. Bargaining means negotiating. So now any industry should be okay if, an em if the employees are wanting to start trade union or maybe if they are wanting to be a part of the workers participation in management. So this will encourage collective bargaining. Trade unions are always seen as a threat for industries for various reasons. But however, employers should always give a green signal for collective bargaining. The next one is discrimination. Discrimination based on gender, discrimination based on wage cannot be acceptable. Discrimination based on religion, caste, creed, linguistic, or maybe anything for that matter, you know, are not entertained at all. The next one is disciplinary practices. If a person does 
commit a mistake or maybe if he is going to be thrown out what is the procedure how are you going to handle it and all these things even the employee should know that now if in case a person is given a show cause notice if a person is given memo what are the practices all those things should be well organized and should be the employee should know that the next one is working hours just because employees are ready to work or maybe they are hungry to you know work and earn so much doesn't mean that the working hours can be extended so here the employer should be considerate when it comes to the working hours they cannot extract so much from them and also the overtime maybe the overtime wages all these things are very important they are allowed to do overtime according to that particular lands legislations not beyond that the next one is remuneration an organization is expected to give you know fair wage to the to the workers and uh, one in in one particular month they give it on the first the next month on fourth and the following month on tenth no that practices are not encouraged so here remuneration to be given and they are also to be given their perks and the date to be fixed the next one is management system management system is basically a set of policies you know in administration and in smooth management they should have that hierarchy and again anybody who is associated with this organization internally should know all these particular practices now having association with this particular organization sai or maybe certified by this particular organization what are the benefits there are some benefits let's explore what are the benefits for employers workers and brands so the benefits of employers is it gives us or maybe it establishes better relationship with workers and customers of course when you are certified with this organization you are ensured that you know it, it is understood that you are a socially responsible uh, agency at the same time you will be a person who will taking care of your workers so it builds your relationship it connects with you with with the employees as well as the customers the next one is improved quality once that you are certified that your products are you know of quality you would love to take it forward or maybe you would love to maintain that quality henceforth your productivity also increases the next one you get an understanding what are the hazards and risks in you know which are involved in your industry so which means you'll be able to understand where where are you lacking and you'll be able to address those things the next one is high employee retention your employees would love to work in a place where you are more considerate where you are more you know interested in their lives their welfare and so on and so forth the next one when you you know having all these qualities you will appeal to global buyers you now your visibility goes up and then uh, you know people would love to you know partner with you or to get acquainted with you the next one is benefits of workers now that this certification also benefits workers it provides a healthy working condition this certification has as, as we read some time back you know it gives us or it has certain things certain parameters where you you as a corporate should fulfill in order to be certified so when you have all these things you will have a healthy working condition not just only about your working hours or your remuneration it goes beyond so today employees expect more than you know the salary not many actually work only for salaries of course people work for salaries there's no doubt about it but of course there are other aspects the way how you are treated the way how you the, the way how you are uh, you know lifted or promoted your benefits your welfare and so on and so forth the next one is living wage as i said you know you will have to give them a living wage you cannot uh, you know hold their salary you cannot punish them with salaries and so on and so forth so here this certification gives helps you to have a living wage the next one increased awareness of rights and opportunities how many of us know what are the rights and opportunities when we work in a particular corporate so here this certification trains and enables everybody who are a part of the system to know what are their rights and what are the opportunities to go forward the next one benefits for brand so here uh, there should be a social compliance program which means you should know how do you going to handle things and so on and so forth the next one is quality assurance gone by the days where uh, we used to have you know quality check department but now you know people are expecting quality assurance with whatever product that you that you manufacture or you send forth to the market you should have quality assurance and when you are certified with this particular program it is understood that you 
are a person who is very much keen on the quality. The next one is resources for capacity building. What are the resources that you have and how do you how do you want to build the capacity of people who are associated associated internally and externally so this helps you to identify the resources and that's one reason why it increases your brand value the next one when your brand value is improved when your brand image is high in the market and people would love to partner with you especially for social programs i know a number of software companies who are really doing fantastic work in the community and there are big giants loving to partner and to take the social programs forward. So these are some of the well-known brands which are associated with SA8000. So these are some of the brands. Okay, so thank you so much for having listened to this particular uh, uh, video about SA8000. I'm sure that uh, you have got some understanding about this particular uh, program or this particular certification. So I've given my uh, uh you know link linkedin id and the slide share where you can uh, see um, some updates of some csr or maybe related subjects and if you have some clarifications in the um, in the presentation please feel free to follow the links which will be given in the description if you wanted to discuss further please feel free to call me or to reach me in this number thank you so much and happy learning